Patriot fans, welcome to another episode of The Brett Jody Show. I'm your host, Justin Antoine. Joining me is the star of the show, Brett Jody. Well, Brett, last week the Somerset Patriots retired Manager Emeritus Sparky Lyles number 28 mm -hmm. on top of the press box. What do you think of the whole ceremony? I'll tell you what, it was very well done. It was very emotional for, I'm sure, Sparky, a lot of the fans, uh, myself included, uh, to see just everything that the Patriots did. Uh, the number, you know, showing itself right there in the, uh, on the press box. Um, just, like I said, all the emotions involved, all the extra, uh, the uh, former players and stuff like that that were on the Jumbotron, uh, sending messages, uh, Joe Torrey, Girardi, I mean, a lot, lot, of, lot of messages. A lot of, lot of people love Sparky and appreciated what he did for the community, for the Patriots Baseball Club, just for the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole setup, man. He, he just, he, he's what made Somerset Patriots Baseball, I think, and brought all those wins here, the tradition, uh, it was just a really, really well planned out event, uh, very emotional, and I thought it was a great day for him. Sparky Lyle, the winningest manager in Atlantic League history, and you're picking up right where he left off, Brett. Somerset boasts the best record in the Atlantic League, which is two weeks to go in the first half mm -hmm. of this 2014 campaign. You're getting effective work from your starting pitchers. Are you going to continue to go with a six-man rotation? No, we've only done that out of necessity, which has been good to have six starters built up enough with all the guys we've lost. It's been, we've been very fortunate to have that in place. Uh, with the double headers, with the day night double header we had last weekend, uh, so we've been we've out of necessity we've had to have that, uh, but it's going to be very good for us to get one of those guys back into the bullpen to be a long guy for us. Where if a guy does struggle or we go in extra innings or we need to eat up some innings during the middle of a ball game, where we can do that. Uh, so I feel personally a lot more comfortable when we do have one of those guys back into the bullpen that can give us some valuable innings, uh, you know, out of that bullpen role for us. Uh, where we don't have to rely on the starters so long and go so deep into ball games now, but they have been doing a great job for us, and you know hopefully they can continue to do that and finish out this half strongly. The weather's heating up, and so are the bats. You're getting productive play from guys like Adam Donahue and Aaron Eggleston. What mm -hmm. are you seeing from those two? Oh, it's been huge. I mean, I, I think throughout the whole year, there's been a lot of different guys stepping up throughout the whole uh, first half. It's been different guys, which is good. You need to have depth on the team, on the pitching staff, and in, in the on the uh, in the lineup. And I think we're rotating guys through there. It's a different hero each night. We talk about it all the time. I think Donnie came up huge for us and continues to do so for, for a, a stretch of ball games there. Eggleston obviously has been on his hair for a while. Uh, Montanez is swinging the bat well again. I mean, you can go up and down the lineup. There's just a lot of guys contributing, and you don't know who it's going to be each night, which is a good a good thing to have because the uh, opposing pitchers don't know, you know, who's hot, who's not during that day. Anybody can hurt you at any given time. That makes you a lot tougher. Corey Smith was the All Star Game MVP last year. He's quietly putting up All Star type numbers this year. Leads the team in RBI. What are you seeing from Big Smitty? I'll tell you, I'm very proud. He's taking what the pitchers give him. He's not trying to force the issue. He's not swinging at balls out of the zone. He's being very disciplined, which is tough for a power guy. But it's really affecting positively his his walk to strikeout ratio. Uh, he's getting on base and trusting the guys, uh, you know, beneath him and stuff to get him driving, man. But he's also coming up with very huge hits in, in clutch moment, uh, clutch times. I think he's one of our best guys with uh, two outs. Uh, runners in scoring position, which is a huge stat. And lastly, you and the Ducks are in a tight Liberty Division first half race. Are you scoreboard watching at all? You're just focusing on the task at hand with the red, white, and blue. We need to we need to focus on our games. I think if we win, we take care of our own destiny. We take care of our own business. Uh, obviously, after our game's over, do I look at the scoreboard? Absolutely. I mean, it would help if they lose a the game sometimes. <laughs> they, they keep winning, uh, but we need to take care of our business and keep going out there each and every night and taking each game uh, individually and trying to win each each game. And Brett, with the World Cup going on, the entire Somerset Patriots team has a giant pool in the clubhouse. Everybody's picked a team. So what's your team representing in Brazil? Well, I have Italy. It was it was a funny, kind of a funny story, I guess. I was coming out of the training room one day, walking through, and Johnny Tucker said, Brett, you in the World, uh, World Cup pool? And I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, he's like, soccer pool, everybody's doing it. And I said, no, nah, I don't really watch much soccer. And he's like, well, everybody's in it. You know, the whole, so the whole team was in it. So uh, we, we all contributed a little bit, and everybody you know, drew a team. I got Italy. Uh, Donnie started ordering flags. So we got flags up around the whole locker room in front of everybody's locker of their individual teams. Uh, I have a jersey. We got a lot of guys that are wearing jerseys during BP and stuff just to represent their team. So it's a it's a good team building exercise and a lot of fun we're having right now. And I'll tell you what, soccer's becoming huge in our locker room right now. Well, Brett's representing Italy. Let's find out what some of the other players are representing here in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Vamos Mexico! Gin de Deutschland. Arriva Chile! Vamos Ecuador! Vamos Costa Rica! Let's go USA! I believe that we will win! Get patriotic! Well, it looks like the guys are passionate about the game of football. 
Well, Brett, thanks so much for your inside analysis about the game that's here on the diamond. For Brett Jody, I'm Justin Answell. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Brett Jody Show right here on SPN.TV. Winning. Extreme winning. Winning. Extreme winning. Play the New Jersey Lottery X games and multiply your cash prize 5, 10, 20, even 50 times with a top prize of $1 million. Now that's extreme winning. Get your tickets today and give your dreams a chance.